Today I'm going to be teaching you about the life cycle of an amphibian. Before we look at the life cycle of an amphibian, we must first understand the diagnostic features of an amphibian. The diagnostic features of an amphibian are Amphibians have moist skin. Amphibians can have lungs or gills or breathe through their skin. Amphibians lay jelly-coated eggs in water. They are often known as spawn. Amphibians are cold-blooded, which means they cannot control their body temperature. Now we are ready to look at the life cycle of an amphibian. We will use a frog as an example. Female frogs produce many eggs at one time and they lay them in water. The eggs are coated in a jelly-like substance to protect them. They float on top of the water. We call this stage the egg stage. The tadpoles develop inside the eggs until they are ready to hatch. Then they eat their way out of the egg. We call this stage the hatching stage. The tadpoles breathe with external gills which can be seen here as the white feathery structures on either side of their heads. They eat algae and other aquatic plants in order to grow bigger. At this stage they are called a tadpole. Next their tails will start to shorten and they start to grow back legs. Their external gills will disappear and they start to breathe with internal gills. At this stage they are still called a tadpole. They next develop front legs. Their tail continues to shorten. They start to lose their gills and develop lungs. At this stage they are called a froglet. Once their tail has gone, their lungs are fully developed and both sets of legs are fully grown, we can now call them a frog. We call the process of turning from a tadpole into a frog metamorphosis, which means big change. The tiny frog will now keep growing until it is a fully grown frog. Then it can find a mate. The male frog fertilizes the female eggs and then the cycle begins all over again. We call this stage the mating stage. Ah!